In this video, we'll look at the solubility of ethanol. This is often written as C2H5OH. We have our two carbons right here, and then we have our OH group up here. So the OH, that's the alcohol that's bonded to the carbons here. Ethanol is soluble in water, and it has a lot to do with the fact that it's a polar molecule, and it's a fairly small molecule. So you can imagine you have your ethanol here in the oxygen, the red, that is very electronegative compared to the other elements around it. So it will be a little bit more negative. This hydrogen, the white, that'll be positive. And then the rest of the molecule will be slightly positive as well. So we bring water in. Water is a polar molecule. And with our water molecule, you can see that the white, these right here, the hydrogens, they're slightly positive. So they match up with that negative on this oxygen. So they're there. We have another water molecule come in here. And you can see the negative and the positive, those kind of match up. We have that water molecule there. And then one more would probably come down here. And you can see these water molecules, they're surrounding the ethanol. So we have this weak bond here between the positive and the negative on each molecule. Water molecules surround the ethanol. That means it's soluble. It's dissolved in water. So when we talk about the solubility of ethanol, because it's polar, because it's a smaller molecule, it's soluble in water. If we keep adding carbons on, so we had three carbons instead of two or four or five or six, the solubility would decrease. Here's a chart that kind of shows us how that happens. If you get enough carbon atoms attached on the end, it will actually be insoluble in water. And that's because the water molecules, they can't surround the whole thing, so they can't dissolve it. This is Dr. B with the solubility of ethanol, C2H5OH. It is soluble in water. Thanks for watching.